There are very few things you have to do to be a good apartment tenant. Just don't be loud, don't be messy, don't have an exposed mayonnaise brain. Or at least that's what I think it is. The cat seems to be a little bit more suspicious. So uh, maybe we should have another word with Mayo? Oh, uh, wait, uh, maybe we can talk this out? No, I'm gonna find out what that pink thing is. Time to scoop it out. Oh no, you found my brain. What on earth? I didn't know food had brains. Of course they have brains. What did you think was going to be pink and wrinkly inside of its head? Like, if they have an ass to pull puns out of, they gotta have a brain to think them up. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Fishing Food, where I've built a multi-million dollar empire with a philosophy that I like to call Capitalism Cannibalism. The idea being you can kidnap sentient food from their home in the ocean, and then after a brief conversation filled with stupid puns, feed them to one another so that they barf up money and line your wallet. And it's definitely been working. You know, I've bought myself a couple of private islands. I'm sure you know how it is. We've all been there before. But I've also been expanding. We now have a farm and a science lab for crimes against nature. And I've even managed to get myself an apartment building. <laughs> because I, I guess you can't be both rich and evil without being a landlord. I'm thinking about opening a for-profit hospital next, maybe handing out some high-interest student loans or, or credit cards. Like, there has to be another way of exploiting these things. I'm sure some of you guys remember my first tenant, Strawberry. I, I think we might want to check in on him. He was behind on rent one week, and instead of having him eat my ass like most of the movies, I ate his, and it ended up causing a little bit of mold, which quickly turned into a lot of mold. <laughs> How you doing, bud? Don't look at me! Looks like your essential oils are kicking in, oh right. He refused to go to the hospital, probably because he can't afford it, so instead went with essential oils and crystal therapy, and I, I, I don't know. It's clearly working, though. He, he looks great. <laughs> Take me to the hospital. I, I don't care what it costs. Not gonna happen. You should have gone earlier. Yeah, I'm not letting you touch the leather seats of my car out here, do you damn mind? I'm pretty sure you've passed the point of no return. Great. Yeah, just great. Well, it was nice knowing you. It was definitely not nice knowing you. Hey, there's no need to be mean. Are you blind? Look at what you did to me. Well, at least we learned what happened when you bite a food. Boy, durable. Oh, is he gone? No, he has to still be around. Who am I going to exploit for money if he dies? And I, I still think we really need to get Kiwi out of the apartment. I'm amazed that he hasn't been overcome by the mold, too. Like, just get him in a smaller place. Get him out of patient zero sight. Now, living below Strawberry and Kiwi, we have Orange and Bread. Orange has been a great tenant. Haven't had any problems. Bread picked a fight with me. So I kicked the shit out of him and... Uh, Again, it didn't end up going particularly well for him. He got a little bit moldy, but he went to the gym, and now he's looking kind of ridiculous. How did you go from mold to swold? Let's fight. Oh, no. How did you get so big? I told you I was going to start a fight club, right? That doesn't explain how you grew arms and legs. Have you been injecting yourself with testosterone or yeast? Or both? My fight club is special. The winners eat the losers. That's horrible. Really? I'm gonna call that horrible? The guy who eats a tenant who's behind on rent? I think that's the pot calling the kettle black, wouldn't you say, kitty? I'm calling the cops. Go ahead. I'll eat them too. I'm gonna consider that a threat. When it comes to apartment renovations, it's a whole lot cheaper to go fishing than it is to hire yourself a contractor. Look at that, we got a couple more tenants. Looks like, uh, mayonnaise and salt? Ew. 
listen, I'm genuinely gonna try my best not to judge a book by its cover, okay? Maybe you're not gonna be a salty little piss baby. Maybe you'll actually be cool. We'll get off on the right foot. I'm a very important man, don't waste my time. I just got out of prison. Okay. <laughs> But you look so friendly. What were you in prison for? Assault? It's been a while since one of these tenants have hit me with a pun. The rent just went up. Honestly now, how did I not see that coming? I'm actually mad with myself. Should we talk to mayonnaise as well? I'm surprised that alcoholic cat hasn't shown up. Usually he's badgering me about watching ads or something like that. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, just wait, you'll see. What do you want, mayonnaise? Move along, nothing to see here. Don't tell me what to do, it's my apartment building. What are you doing in there? You cooking meth? Because if that's the case, then I, I get a cut. Or I'm gonna be rich somehow. What's going on here? What are you hiding? I'm not hiding anything. I'm just a regular jar of mayo. A perfectly normal jar of mayo with no secrets. I don't believe that for a second. I bet you're hiding something in your jar. Nope, just mayo. See for yourself. Hmm, tastes like normal mayo. Of course. I'm gonna have a little more. Whoa, I, I hit something solid. Is that a mayo brain? Oh no! What is that pink thing? Oh, uh, I, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I can see it right there. No, he can't. Is he seriously trying to hide his brain from me? At the same time, I shouldn't question these things. There would be the alcoholic cat that I was talking about. <laughs> What else was his deal? He was an alcoholic and something. I can't remember. I have to deal with a lot of weird people over the course of the day, okay? I, I can't remember all these things. What do you want? Hello again. I'm feeling thirsty. Want to watch an ad to clean the ocean? Yes, okay, I'll watch an ad. Thank you. I've never actually seen him slurp up the ocean before. Oh. Is he going to stay bigger? Because that could be a problem. I don't really need a Godzilla-sized cat roaming around my apartment complex. <laughs> he filtered out the ocean pretty well, though. I seem slightly concerned, however. Well, that was weird. Where'd he go? Probably to his grave. I can't believe he drank that. Oh well, at least now we can fish again. Oh yeah, of course. Now we can pull up uh, another apartment complex level. Oh, that is so worth it. So now we've got banana and ranch dressing. We're the strangest couples you would never expect to show up together. I think I might actually be picking up on a bit of a trend with my tenants because there's always going to be two in an apartment. One is going to hit me with a dumb pun, but then never say anything else ever again. Complete silence, probably out of shame. And then the other is the troublemaker. So I would imagine between ranch dressing and banana, the banana is probably going to be the pun. It's going to say something about a banana split. Just you wait. I need someone to talk to. What's wrong? I don't like my job. It's tearing me apart. Like a banana split? Okay, just, just, just wait for it. Well, that's a bit dramatic. I'm sure it can't be that bad. It's pretty bad. I'm spending my life being something I'm not. That's bananas. <laughs> no, no, that can't be it. it. It can't come from the cat. What would you rather be doing? I don't know. I, I'm bad at introspecting. It's healthy to get to know your inner self. Let me help you. Stay still. Oh, no. Oh, thanks for letting me out. <laughs> no problem. I was stuck in there for 20 years. The outer banana was holding me captive. Well, that's pretty twisted. It's like this strange Siamese twin thing happening. Wait, you're not the same banana? Of course not. That's bananas. Stop, you can't recycle puns. You can recycle the banana, but not puns. Oh, no. We might have a bit of a problem on the top floor. I think Strawberry's built a cocoon. Am I losing my mind? That's what it looks like. 
Oh, he's not gonna say anything now, huh? Come on, Metapod. Well, you look different. Is that a shell? I guess you could say your life is pretty hard right now. Somebody's gotta say the puns, I suppose. You look much less sticky now. That's a compliment. Oh, come on, say something. So much quieter, too. We can keep you around as a decoration. You'll be a nice reminder of what happens when you don't finish your food. Oh, bit of a rumble there. I, I thought we were gonna use him as an example for the others. You pay your rent on time or otherwise you're gonna get bit. Whoa, it's someone in there? Uh, it's changing. What is happening? Oh no, I need to wait 15 more minutes. I need to know what it's be gonna become. I, I, I doubt it's gonna be a Butterfree. When I decapitated the banana and poked the mayo's brain and had an in-depth conversation with the strawberry cocoon, did Bread get arrested? I, I didn't see the police come by, but that would make sense. That's why the alcoholic cat ran away. I swear everything I say for commentary in this game just feels like a, a gigantic fever dream. I fear that anybody watching this for the first time has no idea what's happening and they're not on board for it. Grr, let me out of this thing. No way, you're a hazard to the other tenants. You have to wear that as part of your house arrest. Why am I even under arrest? You ate the food that you fought. So what? They knew what they were getting into. Again, from somebody who has profited from capitalism, cannibalism, you know, culinary cannibalism, you think that I wouldn't be such a hypocrite. <laughs> Doesn't matter, food aren't allowed to eat food here. There's a whole other island where food eat food. That doesn't make it right. I'm well aware that I'm a terrible person. <laughs> be the change you want to see in the world. Wow. Uh, that was oddly inspiring. Really? No. It's a dick move. Oh, so that's it? He doesn't have anything else to say? Uh, it makes sense considering he's ball gagged. I don't know if that was part of house arrest. That might just be the orange having a little bit of a kink. There are very few things you have to do to be a good apartment tenant. Just don't be loud, don't be messy, don't have an exposed mayonnaise brain. Or at least that's what I think it is. The cat seems to be a little bit more suspicious. So uh, maybe we should have another word with Mayo? Oh, oh wait, uh, maybe we can talk this out? No, I'm gonna find out what that pink thing is. Time to scoop it out. Oh no, you found my brain. What on earth? I didn't know food had brains. Of course they have brains. What did you think was going to be pink and wrinkly inside of its head? Like, if they have an ass to pull puns out of, they gotta have a brain to think them up. <laughs> what are we going to charge this guy for a daytime lobotomy? I don't know. It's not my field of expertise. Way to go, idiot. Well, now you know. Congrats. You learned something new. Wait. How are you still talking without your brain? Uh, don't worry about it. I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation. I bet you're hiding something else in there. You already found my brain. What, what more do you want? I'm gonna get to the bottom of this jar of mayo. Oh no. Have we not caused him enough pain and suffering? Have we not opened ourselves up to enough lawsuits? <laughs> I don't understand these stories, man. I, I know ranch dressing and banana have been very patient with me, but they're just gonna have to wait a little bit longer. I, I need to have a conversation with Strawberry Cocoon. What do you think he's gonna turn into, honestly? Poop? Dirt? I, I, I'm afraid to find out. <laughs> he's still rumbling, though. Oh, what the hell? Finally, some fresh air. Whoa, you're not a strawberry. Clearly, are you some kind of parasite? Uh, hey, uh, I'm not the one polluting the ocean. He's got us there. <laughs> you're the real parasite. How did you know about the pollution? You were just born, you shouldn't have any memories. I know everything about you. You're creepy, uh, what even are you? You really don't know what I am? 
must be in shock. <laughs> Just you wait, you'll recognize me soon enough. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, yeah, that's really concerning. Why do I feel like we're about to begin our comeuppets? Or come puppets? What? No, it's comeuppets, right? Come puppets is like the, the rule 34 Kermit. Listen, he may be right about the fact that we're polluting the ocean, and part of me feels a, a little bit bad about that, but it always cleans itself up. Or I watch an ad and get an alcoholic cat to clean it up for me, but either way, it always sorts itself out. Half an hour, it's not that bad. Banana, how are you doing? I can't believe you're gonna have another word with me. It feels good to be free. I can't believe you were stuck in there for 20 years. That's one old banana. It should look worse than the strawberry. <laughs> Me neither. I didn't deserve to be trapped for so long. Would it have killed him to let me out earlier? Actually, it would have, right? I'm pretty sure he's dead right now. Can I see the other side of that peel? He's probably having a real bad day. <laughs> That's a good point. I, I guess I would have done the same thing if I were him. Good thing nobody's trapped inside me. Except, there could be. Don't you have seeds? You sure about that? You ever checked? No. Well, let's check. Stay still. Oh, 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 what the hell? Oh, hello. Wow, another one. <laughs> Why is there a smaller banana inside of the other bananas? Does this look like a plantain? It's like the Russian nesting doll, except stupid produce. Are you watching up there, creepy strawberry parasite cat? Did you notice how I cleaned up the ocean? Who's the real parasite now? I mean, go ahead and pull garbage out of the ocean, and for some reason that results in an oil spill. I've never been able to understand that. Then again, I also don't understand how jelly bean and... Was that a cinnamon bun? It's the strangest pairings in these apartments. Like, how did you two even meet one another? It just doesn't make sense. I need backstory. <laughs> the view is so nice up here. I'm glad you like it. You'll be paying for it. <laughs> what? I didn't have to pay rent in the ocean. Yeah, but now you live on land, and the view is... Oh, I guess up here means above the ocean. I was going to say, they're, they're on the first floor. <laughs> well, you're not in the ocean anymore. Welcome to the future. Future sucks. Sucks to suck. Where's my money? Ugh, let me see if I can find a job. Be right back. All right, that's the kind of interaction I want. No pun, and it only took him about eight seconds to find a job. Wait, really? Okay, it's a very effective jelly bean. <laughs> I'm back. Ready to pay rent? Nope, couldn't find a job. Nobody's hiring right now. You clearly didn't look very far. If anything, you just turned around and then just waited a few seconds before turning back. <laughs> well, try harder. I'm sure you'll figure something out. Just don't make me evict you. But thanks for the great advice. You're so inspiring. I know. <laughs> uh, he's gonna go again uh, for a minute this time. All right, that's what I like to see. Should we do some fishing today? I feel bad if I don't do any fishing. We have a brand new island. I've got the money to go even deeper. I've got a turkey that clearly wants to be fed more of its kind. And a uh, very happy melon. We've already gotten, yeah, this is whole melon. I was gonna say we've gotten melon slices. We've got Captain Melon who's ferrying us around all these islands. It's weird to say the least. <laughs> now we just need to earn money and maybe pull some acid out of the ocean. There we go, that goes to you, Cat Bay, so that I can chuck you around and get some resources. Because as you know, we gotta get gold chunks and diamonds out of the ocean, that way we can buy our turkey a car. <laughs> Again, I, I just, I, I ramble and it sinks in how ridiculous the things that I'm saying are. I feel bad for anybody who's just hearing this video and not watching it. Come on, hat, come on, hat, come on, hat, there we go. Hey, I think I graduated from the school of food torture. I'll take it. Now we can go deeper, we can find ourselves, uh, what is this? Looks like some kind of pastry. Oh, just buns. Cool, and Buns wants to have a word. What do you think the bun pun is gonna be? That's a pun right there, bun pun. I, I really shouldn't be. Oh, I tried to talk to the pun, but I accidentally inspected my dangerous turkey. Turn around, idiot. 
I'm surprised I didn't lose my buns in the ocean. But yeah, those are some pretty nice buns. Oh, thanks, I do a lot of squats. Really? It wasn't even a pun, they just made a bum joke. I need to go deeper again. I need to find something better than that. Can I get uh, an almond? A date? Maybe a nut? If it's a date, I could definitely see a couple puns for that. It's an almond, all right. I don't know my nuts, okay? If anything, I have enough nuts in my life from playing these stupid games. Oh, hold on, I gotta increase capacity. I meant to increase how deep we go. Fine, I'll pull up a whole bunch of money. I can't even use the multipliers properly because I, I can't go deep enough. <laughs> Too early on in exploiting this part of the ocean. Oh, here we go. That's, uh, we've already got a uh, taco. That would be burrito, right? You can get a good look at it. Yeah, there we go. That's a, that's a burrito. And the burrito wants to have a word. What, what's your burrito pun gonna be? Hello, I am a burrito. That's pretty cool. It's very cool. They don't call me a burrito for nothing, you know. Very funny. Thank you, I'm an aspiring comedian. I'll, I'll tell, no, don't tell me more jokes. I was being sarcastic, please get to hell. <laughs> talk to you later, I'm gonna go cry. <laughs> I don't wanna talk to you idiots, I just wanna make money. I've only got $88,000. I'm practically a, a prison guard peasant at this point. Maybe we should just go back to the tower? I mean, technically, this place isn't even making me money, right? I, I don't have like a value amount at the top. So what's the point? Is this affordable housing generosity? Or maybe I'm laundering all the illegal money from the islands? That would make sense. How much more of a transformation could this poor strawberry possibly go through? <laughs> Do you recognize me now? Yeah, you kind of look like me. How did this happen? Why are you acting so surprised? I sound exactly like you. I have the same voice. <laughs> this is how our species reproduces. It's the circle of life. Don't you remember how you were born? Of course I don't. Who remembers how they're born? <laughs> Maybe you blocked it out for some reason. I'm pretty sure most cats don't remember being born. Well, I clearly remember my birth. I'm pretty sure you're not actually a cat. You're not actually a cat either, but more on that later. Anyway, it doesn't matter what you think. Soon, we'll look identical. When I grow up, nobody will be able to tell the difference. I don't like where this is going. Too bad, I'll grow up in the blink of an eye. Well, then I won't blink. I can wait. <laughs> oh, well, looks like you blinked. Oh, this can't be real. <laughs> is it seriously? It's a little me. Okay, that's concerning and opens up a lot of questions about this world. So are all the cats just strange mutant versions of the food who've grown to become the alpha predator. <laughs> oh, Mayo Brain wants to have another word. <laughs> I don't know how much longer I could be doing this today. No, you know what? We're gonna close things out fishing. This is fishing food. This is where I make most of my money. The major bread earner as it is. Technically, we haven't found bread, but don't worry about it. I definitely want to get as many vehicles for my strange little prisoners and get a whole fleet from the cat bay if I have to. Try to earn enough money because I want to get another island. I want to keep the series going. That's essentially what it is. I want to continuously find new stuff. And if I'm just constantly fishing and talking to food, then I feel like that isn't enough. But if we're unlocking stuff, then I feel pretty good about that. What did we get? Your peach apricot. Man, it has been a dog's age since I've seen an apricot. And of course, it doesn't even remember me. It doesn't want to have a conversation. That's fine. <laughs> See if I care. I think my multipliers are running out. Hello, shovel. So hopefully now we'll be able to upgrade depth once again. Really? I'm like pennies off. Are you kidding me? Can I get a loan from the other islands? What are they doing? What kind of cursed creature are we gonna find now? Because we found some real weird ones. Today has been pretty tame. I gotta say, we've just been getting stuff like celery. How weird could celery possibly be? Don't tell me you're gonna have some strange kink when I talk to you. I finally found a job. Well, congrats. Thanks, I work in retail now. I'm uh, celery. I'm done. No, that's it. That's where I crossed the line.
All right, you know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Fishing Food, guys. And it's like I said, I really want the series to continue. The videos are doing really well, people seem to really enjoy them, and I like having a game that I can kind of rely on. When it comes to YouTube, a lot of the times I'll sit down, I'll have nothing to play, a game might suck, a game might break, but this has been very consistent and very fun. So if you guys want to see more, as always, be sure to leave a like on the video, leave a comment letting me know, and maybe you will return to learn more about the mystery of Mayo Brain. What could he possibly be hiding in his ass. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.